Uh, the biogas sector in Denmark has experienced a strong increase since 2012. It has moved from five petajoules in 2014 up to, in 2021, around 27 petajoules. And the biomethane contribution to the natural gas grid in Denmark has been reaching 34% at the end of last year and is expected to reach 75% by 2030. Or some sources, they say that even 100%, that would mean 55 petajoules. Now the plants are mainly using, the agricultural plants are mainly using manure that represents 75% of their raw feedstock. But we're going to see in the coming years a uh, use of um, agriculture, um, um, organic household residues like food waste from the houses or um, industrial waste and for sure straw. Now all plants are trying to incorporate the straw in their feedstock. Yeah, now the, the plants are interested in applying new technologies to optimize their process, to maximize the gas yields and also to monetize all the output streams, especially the CO2. They are trying to produce e-methanol, e-methane and other e-fuels from the CO2 and also use the digestate fibers to produce a biochar, for example, to spread it on the fields and have a carbon capture source. Well, Rumble has a team, Rumble Energy, of more than 40 experts working with biogas projects with more than 30 years of experience and have participated in more than 350 projects around the world. And we have this multidisciplinary approach that um, can address all the aspects of a biogas plant. And we can provide all services during a project from the idea, the basic and detailed design, then manufacturing, testing, commissioning, cooperation. If they want to sell the plant, we produce technical due diligences. So we work for banks, investors, private companies, um, public sector, yeah.